New games are constantly getting churned out, and sometimes it's just nice to have a curated list to help shine light on some of the many titles that you can see. Hello friends, I'm Shock, and today I want to show you the five games that I'm most excited for coming in September 2021. If you like any of the games I'm about to show you, consider subscribing. That way you can keep up with my playthroughs and my coverage of them. That out of the way, let's get into the list in order of release date. Up first, we have Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, an isometric party-based CRPG that is the sequel to Kingmaker. This time, Owlcat is hoping to take what players loved about Kingmaker and expand upon it with a new story and new world to explore alongside various new and improved features. The game has players adventuring to the world wound, where a rift has opened to the abyss, pouring out countless armies of demons. Our mission is to form a party, as well as an army, to help push back all of these hordes. Combat has the standard real-time with pause, but also and I think more faithful to the tabletop, a turn-based combat. You can switch between them freely. I can't wait to bring my pen and paper characters to life in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous when it comes to PC on September 2nd, for a price point of $49.99. For number two, we have Honey, I Joined a Cult. Honey, I Joined a Cult is a resource management strategy game where you are in charge of creating, operating, and growing a cult in the 1970s. I get strong prison architect vibes from this title, and that's not a bad thing. A sucker for these kind of games, even if my impatience can get me into some trouble. The zany aesthetic and the potential for an amazing story each time you play through has me very excited. Honey, I Joined a Cult is coming to Early Access on Steam on September 14th for an assumed price of $19.99. At number 3, we have Origami 2, a third-person stealth action game. Origami, the titular ninja, can use Shadow Essence to teleport, confuse, and eliminate his targets. The story seems to be focused around freeing other origami from the invading armies, but that's second string to the mechanics, which have my attention not only as a solo ninja, but in three-person co-op. The game will have eight shadow powers and 16 passives, which can be upgraded to fit your preferred playstyle. The sequel boasts larger maps with collectibles and loot, which plays into the weapon and armor crafting. The weapon and armor crafting also leads into the customization, which was not seen in the previous title. I get so many Tenchu vibes from this, and I'm so excited for a modern Tenchu style game. This launches on PC on September 17th for $34.99. Number 4 brings us to Lemon Escape. Time loop games seem to be the new genre, with 12 minutes last month, and two different timey wimey titles this month, but for this list, I'm focusing on Lemon Escape. Lemon Escape attempts to blend FPS combat and turn based strategy. The first time I saw this game, I thought my brain had melted. But after you play a few matches and get past the whole which way is my gun pointing part of the game, it really opens up. Planning multiple moves ahead, anticipating where your opponent will be going, countering them, setting up moves of your own. Since this is a PvP game, you'll be trying to manage all of your strategy and combat against another real-life player. Matches are structured in five separate rounds, lasting 25 seconds and playing directly into them. Strategy is simple, if you can say that. Taking what happened in the first round, learning from it, and adapting. There are seven different operatives, and you can only use each one per match. The matches are 1v1 or 2v2, online or offline. And it has three different game modes. Retrieve, where you collect three balls and return it to your team's gate. Domination, which is about capturing and controlling zones. And Seek and Destroy, where you try to wreck your opponent's resistors. Lemon Escape is coming to PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on September 28th for $19.99. And finally, at number 5, we have Blood Bowl 3. At first, you might look at Blood Bowl 3 and see a high fantasy version of those arcade foot brawlers like NFL Blitz, but it's actually a strategy RPG. Players form teams using several different races, and teams have specific strengths and weaknesses. Depending on their role, each player has its own stats and abilities, and it's up to you to use them to the best of your ability. Cyanide Studios has confirmed that there will be 12 playable teams at launch. There are two teams that are new to the Blood Bowl franchise, which are the Black Orcs and the Imperial Nobility. Just don't come into this game expecting a football game. It's a strategy game through and through. Alright, this title was really just a hope. It's been pushed back to February 28th, 2022, but according to the Steam page as well as all their marketing, Early Access is still slated for September 2021, but without a specific date, the end of the video seemed to be the smartest place for this. That's going to wrap up this video. There were a few big name games that I didn't mention in my list, and I'm sure you know which ones I'm talking about. But overall, it's a solid month of new releases. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Are you playing the games that I'm excited for, or are you playing the games that I did not list? I'll talk to you down there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.